Hey guys, it's Kelly. I am coming to you from our quail shed in Utah. And it's a lot quieter out here and you can hear the sounds of the quail and see some of my favorite colors. And I wanted to share with you five reasons. I'm gonna make other videos for sure. It is that time of year where people are thinking about homesteading, they're getting their seeds, they're thinking about what they wanna do come spring. And a lot of you are thinking about chickens and IFA, Tractor Supply, Cow Ranch, whatever farm stores near you is gonna start having chicks usually in February around Valentine's Day. So while you're thinking about that, I wanted to throw some of my favorite facts about Paternix quail your way in case you want to consider adding quail to your homestead, your backyard, whatever. So top five reasons I'm gonna throw at you that I tell everybody when they ask. Number one, you can have Paternix quail where you cannot have chickens. I will say if you're in a strict HOA, you may have issues with this because HOAs are a lot more strict. It's personal rules versus city um, and county rules and that varies. So that will vary. But if you are in an HOA and you can't um, have them outside, you can have them in the basement. I do have some in the house um, that I use specifically for my hatching program so I can keep a tight, tighter eye on the fertility. So keep that in mind. However, for Caternix quail, they are not poultry. They are not waterfowl and they are technically not game birds in the United States. Uh, Caternix quail, also, also called Japanese quail, are domestic in Japan. So a game bird generally, <laughs> they have a lot to say today. A game bird generally denotes a native species to your area. So where I am in Utah, it's like valley quail, California quail, chuckers, pheasants, things like that, um, that you would see walking around natively. Those require permits um, and they generally grow a lot slower. Some of them only lay eggs seasonally. Um, so Caternix quail don't fall in that category. Um, it's basically like having canaries in your backyard. So they don't really fall in that category. So that's usually a big loophole for a lot of people. Um, also, they are much quieter. If you hear that sound in the background, that's actually the crow of a rooster. A male Caternix quail makes that noise. It's very different than a chicken rooster and it is much quieter. It might not sound so with the phone right there and then behind me and um, in front of me as well. Um, but they're much, much quieter. You can tell the gender between three and four weeks if they're feather sexable. If they are non feather sexable colors, you can tell the gender about six to eight weeks. So you'll find out really quick if you don't want ruse where you're at, you'll know really quick and you'll be able to pull them from that group. And the hens do not make any noise. <laughs> you only hear the roosters right now. Um, okay, so, re so number one, you can have them where you cannot have chickens. So if you're thinking about chickens and you're like, oh, I can't have them, think about Caternix quail. It's a great alternative. Number two reason, you will be getting eggs from the day you get eight, your chick hatches in six to eight weeks, you will be getting eggs. With chickens, it is much longer than that. It can be four months, six months, nine months depends on the breed, but generally it's a lot longer. Um, so six to eight weeks, you're gonna have your own eggs. That might make a huge difference for you right now with the way costs are going up, especially with chicken eggs. Also, if you're allergic to chicken eggs, nine times out of 10, my customers have actually been able to tolerate quail eggs just fine um, when they can't tolerate chicken. Just keep that in mind. Rule number three, these things are so fast growing. They're not gonna be in your house forever. Like a chicken, sometimes it's a long commitment. You have to have them in your house for a few months, make sure they're ready to go outside. 
quail need heat for two weeks. I take them off the heat week three and between three weeks and four weeks, any time of year in Utah, it might, if you're negative 30, you probably want to wait a little bit longer, but generally three to four weeks, you can put them outside with everybody else. They're fully feathered and ready to go. Um, number four reason why I love them, chickens. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a chicken hater. I have chickens myself. I love them, they're my spirit animal, but I also have quail. Um, chickens require 10 square foot per one bird. Quail, you can fit in one square foot, you can fit three quail. So in the space, you can have one chicken, you could have 30 quail. So think about that, especially if you're in limited spaces, um, you can have a lot. <laughs> um, and number five reason, the food conversion ratio on a Caternix quail is amazing. It is a two to one ratio, which means generally for every two ounces of feed you give the animal, it will gain one ounce of weight. Obviously there's a cap off. They are full grown by like eight to 10 weeks. So it's once they get full grown, it'll taper off quite a bit and they don't get much bigger than that. But <clears throat> the food conversion ratio is great. Chickens are just gonna eat and eat and eat and they're gonna grow as fast as they're gonna grow. Quail, it's like they're doubling in size as chicks every like week or every few days. It's, it's absolutely insane how fast they grow. Um, so if you're raising them for meat, by eight weeks, you have a full grown quail. They're very easy to process and your food as far as your food and your food conversion ratio it, turning it into meat with the cost of animal feed right now that makes a big difference too um so you're not losing meat and feed on um your meat animals so those are my top five reasons um i want to throw it out there i will make a second video at least a part two if not part three of why I think turnips quail are an amazing addition or start to a homestead or backyard or porch or basement. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, shoot me a message or go to featherconnections.com and hit me up and I will answer all your questions. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day.